and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. I'm Fuzzy. And I'm Radar. And today we've got Hofbrau Oktoberfest. I think it's 6.5% alcohol by volume. Yes, and we are revisiting this. Mm. It is uh, 6.3. Oh, 6.3%. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's in a, uh, we're drinking it out of a mini keg. It's five uh, five liters or 1.32 gallons of beer. They, su they say it will fill 20 pint glasses, but I feel like that's an overstatement. I feel that this is going to be gone by the end of the night. Yeah, uh, that was the idea. Oh, that is kind of nice. Was it this light when we tried it? Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. It was just kind of skunky because the bottles were all green and nasty. It was skunky. It was pretty skunky. There you go, Radar. Kevin, here. Look at our special. Can you hold that? Look at all of that head. Thank you. Good head. Just look at it. That's good head right there. It's going away very fast. Head. Well, it's just it's just condensing up towards the top. This is imported from Munich, Germany. Hofbrau. If you haven't been to Hofbrau House, you should totally go to one. Well, there's only like four in the United States. If you live anywhere near Newport, Kentucky, uh, there's also one in Vegas. Um, I can't think of all of them right now. I'm sorry, guys. It is. It is kind of a golden color. It has a buttery. With, with some particulate in it. But it has a buttery smell. Yeah, it does kind of look like. This is uh, Fuzzy's first stock cut we fest, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yes, it is. It's the first time actually drinking Hofbrau. And it's got a white head. I agree with the band a little butter. It's pretty rocky and top me off, would you? After you're done over there. But, uh... Let's see if I can just pull the head. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. Yes, it does. And it doesn't have even a hint of a skunky smell. One. That mini keg. Two. Three. No. Uh, <laughs> Kill it. Get it. There's no, no, let me see that towel. There you are. I'm good. All right. So, like I said, we've done this before. But yeah, it doesn't. You don't get remotely any. Not even a little bit of skunk. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Yeah, this is a little. It's buttery. Okay, it's, yeah. it's almost. It's the color of a pills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, it looks good. It does. It looks, it looks great. It looks Especially in these glasses. Not We're drinking out of Pilsner glasses. We should be drinking out of mugs, yes, and signs, yes, but we don't have those right now. Our head is so Just large. Yeah, well, let's be <clears> jealous. <throat> All right, let's do it. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wait, guys, guys, guys. A ziggy zaggy. A ziggy zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. A ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. Not going to check it. It's pretty good. Oh, that's uh, really good. It's really drinkable. Yeah. So it's so in. Good, you know, it's not in the glass bottle. It's it's not like you would it's it's not like a lot of Oktoberfests are and really, really sweet. Mm -mm. And it's a whole lot drink more drinkable than other Oktoberfests. Well it's more like a Marzen, so it's like a tip a traditional German Oktoberfest as opposed to Americans or even though they call them Marzens, they're more box style beers yeah, and less uh, of a Marzen. So if you want an Oktoberfest beer, go to Germany. Or just buy your beer from Germany. Or buy your beer. Don't be wrong. So they have some really good American. Or oh, get us uh, Adams. Or good. England. Yes. <laughs> if you can get England, not everybody can. Like us. Which is it's depressing. Sad. But I have a cousin that lives in Ohio. He's going to bring me a case. Oh, yeah. Uh, case of England. It's also got incredible lacing. Look at that. Okay. That's just okay. a, that's just stupid. Right, right, all right. It looks like you could do some more. It's true. I could. So, why he's refilling your glass, radar rating? Oh man, uh, I, this is when I think of Oktoberfest. This is what I think of. This is a this is easily an eight, an eight and a half. The drinkability, it's there. I mean, it's oh, ridiculously man. drinkable. Like we will, put, you, we sir. will put a rating on this tonight. Like, um, yeah. we will finish this tonight. <laughs> let's let's be honest here. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna finish it. Yeah, but now, uh, fuzzy. Well, what do you give it? It definitely has the typical Pilsner taste, I feel. I wouldn't go that far. Well, it doesn't have a Pilsner taste. It's smooth. But it's a whole lot lighter than what you would usually get. Yeah, it's a lighter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's very light. I'll give it that, I feel. Uh, I have to say, what would you, either, what would you give it? Oh, eight and a half? Eight and a half. 
I think I'm going to go with about a seven. Uh, maybe it's the Oktoberfest stuff to deal with Oktoberfest. I think they make these beers more drinkable than other ones just because they're more consumed and greater. Well, um, the original Oktoberfest was made for like some fancy, fancy kids or dudes, kids wedding. Oh, okay. And that's where the Oktoberfest comes from. Just a festival where, like, this is the wedding reception. We're just gonna get shit face drunk. So they need something. For like two oh. weeks or so. Or <laughs> so, <laughs> they need, so they need something that's light and very drinkable. And I feel like this is the that. Well, that's the typical of ours, and it's what it is. I mean, it's got yeah. a little beefiness to it, but not. It's not as light as an American Pilsner or anything yeah. like that. But, like I was saying, like, yeah, the right Sandra items is more of a. Tr like a button. But it's on our second one. Okay. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. It's really good. I think it's a little bit higher than what I gave it the first time just because it tastes so much better than the keg right there. It does taste so much better than the keg. What'd you get from the keg tomorrow? Because I think that's what we're gonna start doing. If we can find yeah. good ones. Maybe we should try how to get out of a mini keg. Yeah, it's right, better out of a mini keg. We have to make sure that uh, we have some certain people over before we do that. That way it doesn't yeah. waste it. Right on. <laughs> True. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this an eight. I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed stuff Pop Bro has put out. Because I have been to Hop Bro from Newport. And it's just good times. I may not remember all of them. I may remember being <coughs> going, guess, 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 guess. Sammy on this stein. Just a later <laughs> beer. And that's when I knew I had the gift, guys. That's when you found out you had the gift at Hop Bro? Hop Bro? Guys, would have recommended all at once. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Da. Wait, no, no problem. That's that's ja. Yeah. We would all recommend this if you have what twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. To buy. Twenty bucks for five liters of beer. Do it. Yeah, not bad. Get well, off your ass and go buy. Gallons. Best deal of beer around, I'd say. It's a pretty good deal for good beer. Yeah, it, it really is. is. All right. Well, if you have anything you would like us to try. Any challenges or anything, leave a comment down below. I'm Steel Reserve. Special K. I'm Fuzzy. I'm Radar.